Yo, yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to MCTV. It's your boy, MC. Um, hey, I want everybody to know that early birds get the worm. Never be afraid to wake up early. Do what you gotta do. It's nice to see the sky before the sun arrives. It's nice to breathe this fresh air. Look how blue it is. Well, it's only gonna get brighter, but... Anyways, I wanna do a little something on my YouTube channel called Storytime. I got a lot of real life experiences that happened in my life that affected me profoundly and that I know can maybe influence or change other people. Also, just a lot of things that have happened, you know, occurrences and events. Um, right now, specifically, the one I want to touch on is somebody who was a key motivation and a great inspiration in the younger years of my life. Right before I got out of uh, middle school, at Tyson Middle School, I was um, excelling and running and uh, having stamina and uh, long distance or whatnot in the pacer receiving, you know, number one medals for best pacers and all that. And I was getting noticed by some of the high school peoples and one of the people that came to see me was Mr. Dennis. And um, his name was Henry Dennis. Um, he was a very melanated male, you know, a black male. You know, he had locks coming down. And at the time, you know, I got on, when I first got into ninth grade, I got on cross country and he was the coach. I think he was a track coach as well. And I mean, this guy, before I even was in middle school, when, when the old YMCA was here in the city of FDL, before the new one got built and the old one got busted down, me and my sister, we was like elementary, you know, and we would go into the uh, to the tennis racket room, and then all of a sudden, my, I left out, and then that Mr. Dennis comes in. We didn't know it was Mr. Dennis at the time, but this guy would come in, and my sister described him as this, this really muscular, ripped black guy with dreads, all he did was walk into the big green like room for uh, tennis. And he would run around nonstop like lightning. And my sister was so amazed and dumbfounded and shocked at what this guy did. She ran and told me because she knew how athletic I was. She was like, Marcus, 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 look. This guy, he came in. I don't know who he was, but we were just chilling in the tennis room. And he ran around and he wouldn't stop. And he did it like 10 times. And I was so amazed. And that's before I even knew who he was or before I met him. But by the time I got to high school, you know, I mean, this guy, he was top four, you know what I'm saying? He was an elite athlete, and uh, he was a math teacher. He was married to a midwife, had a great home, had two children. Um, he was a great teacher. I was in his math class. Um, one of the most positive people I've ever got to see or meet in my life, one of the most established. He had a little something happen that I, I don't fault or blame him for, even though it was against the coach, student rules. He was a really, um, he was an attractive person just to many people, and some of the uh, of age girls that was on the team, you know, was trying to dabble with him and that may have occurred once, but I don't even fault them for that because it was of age, but that, I'm not even here to highlight that. What I'm here to highlight is I will never forget Mr. Dennis and what he meant to me till this very day. I'm 26. I still think about him, the things he told me and what I seen from him. And that's always going to encourage and motivate and inspire me. And the sad thing is, after all that bullshit happened with school, he was on one of his morning routes, either biking or jogging, early in the morning at like five, four, or six in the morning, it was still dark out, and he would be taking long routes on the outskirts. And some drunk driver, which I think was an inside job, you know, hit him and got off in like a month. Hit him with his truck, killed Mr. Dennis, and then he got off. It is what it is, but Mr. Dennis, your spirit is with me, and I'll never, ever, ever forget you and the impact that you made on my life. All them kids, they must have forgot about you. All them, the kids you was training and those running behind you on varsity, all them white boys and shit, they forgot about you. I seen some of them recently, they don't even remember you. But I'm still gonna bring, bring your name up and I'm still gonna mention you because of what you meant to me. Mr. Dennis, I wish there was more people like you out here on this earth. Subscribe to my channel, MCTV. I'll come back at y'all with another one for story time. Um, like this video, comment down below if you have any experiences where you have to know somebody really special in your life and they were taken from you or other circumstances in life uh, that was like a role model or mentor to you. Until next time.